Hello everybody, welcome to Blocks Custard. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video, and the topic we'll be focusing on today is tips you can use to become a pro in Adopt Me. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you aren't, you're missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe so that you will always get the latest information about Roblox from us. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's dive right into this video. Starting off with the first tip to become a pro in Adopt Me is to explore first. If you are new to Adopt Me, the first thing you should do is to explore the environment. We highly recommend this because even though the map or the GPS is quite helpful in navigating you to the right direction, it can sometimes get in the way and you become too reliant on it. This is why you should try exploring the map. You will be able to familiarize yourself with locations and head there without having to constantly check on the GPS. Plus, you might encounter some interesting things that will surprise you. Moving on to the second tip that you can use to become a pro in Adopt Me is to make money as efficiently as possible. Making money in Adopt Me is very important because it will allow you to buy eggs and hatch them. One of the most effective ways to make money in Adopt Me is to become a baby pet owner, as it will double your tasks. You can create families in Adopt Me and take care of other babies. You can take advantage of this as you can use another Roblox account and add it to your own family. Then you can take care of your other account's baby and pet. This will greatly increase the number of tasks that you can do and will also dramatically increase the amount of money you can get in Adopt Me. Plus, you can sell items via party or cash registers. Heading into the third tip, you should always know your objective. Being organized with your ideas and tasks is really going to help you in Adopt Me. Basically, it is recommended that you try and list down the things that you want to do first and get those things done one by one. For example, if you want to prioritize pets, then make sure to collect all the pets, hatch eggs, and do other pet-related things before completing other tasks like collecting toys or designing your home. If you know what your priorities are, it will really help you be on track and complete the things you want to get done as fast as possible. Diving into the fourth tip, you should always know your pet's value and make smart decisions while trading. In trading, you basically trade your items for other players' items. When you trade in Adopt Me, you can't really go wrong, but if you don't know your pet's value or don't know what a fair trade is, then you will definitely lose a lot of valuable items or even pets. Make sure that before you click on the accept button, think first whether or not it is worth it to trade your stuff for the other players. It doesn't matter how long you take to make a decision while trading, just make sure that you won't regret it in the end. And please avoid getting excited when someone offers you an extremely valuable pet for your items. You'll probably end up giving them more than what they give you. You can check the Adopt Me wiki to know your pet's value and what a fair trade looks like. And finally, the last tip is going to be about getting good pets. What we mean by good pets is pets that you really want to have in Adopt Me. And if you really want to get the pets that you want, we recommend you to do a lot of research when it comes to the best egg to buy that gives you the highest chance to get the pet that you want. You should know what pets you can get from a specific egg and decide if you want that pet or not. You can get more details of the egg hatching rates on the Adopt Me wiki page. And if you don't have a preference as to what pet you want to get, just try and get limited eggs because they tend to be more valuable than the eggs that are always available in the game. An example of a limited egg is the Aussie egg which originally cost 750 bucks but can only be obtained through trading now and it's worth a lot of items. Alright guys, so unfortunately this video has come to an end. That is it on tips you can use to become a pro in Adopt Me. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you to subscribe so you will not miss any of our upcoming Roblox videos. Also, like the video as it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm and lets this topic be delivered to more people. And lastly, share this video so we can inform others. With that, thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.